Hi everybody, I'm Tim from TrottenFeather.com and I absolutely love to use a technique called European nymphing. And I know many of you do too. Well, with European nymphing comes basically a whole variety of leaders, lines, rods, I mean, and flies. And with those flies, a lot of those nymphs tend to be tied on jig hooks to make them run upside down, you know, less snags, you know, much less likely. Now, to get them to ride upside down on those jig hooks, we love to pair them with slotted tungsten beads. And herein lies this video. I get asked all the time, what are my favorite colors of beads? So in this video, I am gonna share my top three, my three favorite colors of beads. And if you stick around till the end, maybe you'll be lucky enough to hear about, we'll say, favorite color number four too. <laughs> Stay tuned. A color that you have surely seen if you follow me on Instagram is matte black. I mean, this color just is such a winning color on so many of my fly patterns. I mean, I love to use it on caddis fly imitations because it really creates that, that dark head, kind of a dark thorax vibe. Uh, it just has so many good things going for it. It doesn't seem to scare fish, so you have that there. It's gonna add a lot of weight. But most importantly, it creates contrast. So you can see on this pattern right here, this is called the sneak attack. Just one of my absolute winning flies. Again, there's a link in the description if you're interested in learning how to tie this. It's a simple tie. Coque de Leon, a black flash body coated with Solaris bone dry. That matte black bead, and then we have a hot spot of a thorax with dubbing, kind of just squashed in between. But that creates just an excellent point of contrast, and that's what this bead is all about. Something that won't spook fish, gets your flies down in a hurry, creates contrast. I mean, this is just all the tickets to a winner. So if you have not been using matte black to this point, add it to your arsenal. Like seriously, just pause the video and go and order some matte black beads right now. You can thank me later. The next color that I love to use is copper. I mean, in my mind, copper is the new gold. There are just so many great things about this. It's just a, kind of a darker shade of gold, at least in my mind. Um, I love to pair it with really nymphs that have an olive or a brown shade. So when you look through a lot of my blue wing olives, sure, I'll use silver, I'll use matte black, but whenever I reach for a fly from my box, that you know, if I'm going after a mayfly imitation, especially a blue wing olive, I look for the copper beads first. I just have confidence in them. Um, it's a really classic color, without a doubt one of my favorites. This one is on a purple France fly. Now I don't have a video of the France fly, but you can find it on YouTube as well. There are a couple different versions out there. Uh, it's a winning fly, but that copper color, geez, go with it. Okay, to start this one off, this is a no-brainer. Um, it's silver. There is no doubt, silver is my absolute go-to color of a bead. I mean, whenever I actually went through my fly boxes, because I wanted to just see like what color jumps out the most, silver makes up, I don't know, 70, 75% of all my flies. This pattern here, it's one of my favorites. This is the stealth mode. If you want to learn how to tie it, there's a link down below in the description. I mean, this is easily one of my favorite flies to fish all year long, and it has a silver bead. I mean, I have complete confidence in this fly, in this bead. I don't care about the situation. I mean, all of my favorite Euro nymphs are tied with this. So if you're asking if there's one color bead that I would recommend above all others, all others, you're looking at it right now, go with silver. Okay, I told you I was giving you three colors, my top three. Well, I obviously lied. Come on, I'm a fly tire. I mean, whenever you say three, we're gonna give you 20. That's just the way it works in the world of tying. But let me go with kind of my honorable mention. And this is a fluorescent orange. I mean, this color is just an absolute winner. So let me tell you the story behind this color because in my mind, I was really kind of late to the party. So I was watching this movie put out by Devin Olson. He's a member of Fly Fishing Team USA and he created this movie with Lance Egan called Adaptive Fly Fishing. Uh, you know, without a doubt, check it out. I'll put a link down below to the movie. It's a winner movie. I mean, it teaches you so much. But all throughout the movie, I kept seeing Devin catching fish on a fly just like this. This is a little, you know, a, a, we'll, we'll call this a pheasant tail. I mean, a really simple tie, CDL tail, pheasant tail body, some wire ribbing, a little bit of a thorax. I mean, a no brainer. But every time I saw Devin catching fish, I swear his fly had on an orange bead. So I did what probably all of you are doing right now. I went out and I bought a bunch of orange beads. So they came in, they looked great. I put them on a bunch of my flies and they sat in my box for like eight months. Finally, I, I don't know why, but I finally looked into my box one day as I was out fishing. I said, oh, I'm gonna try that fly. Fished it for a little bit, 
did okay, maybe caught like one fish. I was not impressed. But it wasn't like a, a game time situation where I knew I would be catching fish and I'd get some confidence with the fly. So I put it back in my box, forgot about it again for a little while, and one day I was doing really well and I thought, let me see how that little orange pheasant tail does. Put it back on my line and it was like fish after fish after fish. I'm not telling you it was the orange color, but in my mind, it's the orange color. If you're looking for an orange bead, uh, there's a link down below where you can order some. I mean, go with it. Listen, if Devin uses it, you know, I'm gonna use it as well, and I hope all of you kind of take note of that too. So there you go. Some of my favorite colors whenever I'm out fly fishing using bead heads. Now, whenever we kind of think about the notion of bead heads, at least whenever I'm talking about my own personal fly fishing and fly tying, I tend to use slotted tungsten beads because when paired with a jig hook, they tend to get the fly down near the bottom in a hurry and also help to invert it to make it ride hook point up less likely to snag. Now, there are so many great options out there, and geez, if you see me on the stream fly fishing, does that only mean that I'll be fishing with one of those four colors I shared in this video? Absolutely not, because there are so many great colors out there today. If you're interested in purchasing some, I have included some links down below in the description of this video. Now, if you're new to fly tying, just to share the, the importance of beads, at least in my own personal tying and fishing, in my newest book, I have an entire section dedicated to just talking about beads. That's really their, their value in today's fly time. Now, one of my buddies, his name is Teo Bacalar. He even painted his head gold years ago just to, to kind of share with the United States the notion of fly fishing with bead heads. I mean, that sounds absolutely crazy, but we use bead heads for one major reason. Fish love them. And now it's your turn. Pause this video right now and go down below and comment, what are your favorite colors of bead heads? Come on, be honest, you got my top four. Now it's your turn. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? What's that one color that every time you open your fly box, that's the one you turn to? I can't wait to kind of read and comment on what all of you share down below. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to watch more like this, you can check out my website, which is troutandfeather.com. You can also contact me by email. My email is on the bottom of this screen right now and it's also down in the description. It's tkamisa at gmail.com. If you'd like to connect via social media, you can find Trout and Feather on Instagram, on Twitter, you can find me on Facebook. And now I'm even making these really funny, kind of sarcastic videos on this platform called TikTok. Check it out, it's a lot of fun. And I have links to all of my social media accounts down below. One more time, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to hear from many of you soon.